What's going on everybody? This is Kevin and Christy with Exploring with KNC and we are headed south today, just south of Kanab again, and we're going to go down and do the Buckskin Gulch via the Wire Pass Trail, I believe it is. Anyway, we're going to head down and we've got to find a place to camp overnight, and then first thing in the morning we got our permit uh, for Saturday. And we'll go over to the Wire Pass Trailhead and we'll start our hike. Talk to you later. everybody this is Kevin and Christy with Exploring with KNC we have packed up camp and we are now headed out to the wire pass trailhead where we're going to link up with the buckskin gulch and we're gonna go back to a spot that I picked out we're not gonna do the whole thing it's the long, longest slot canyon in the world and uh, we're gonna go to a place I believe it's called the buckskin overlook and uh, and that's gonna be our turnaround point today in the future we're gonna go further and backpack I think it's confluence point or something like that where you can backpack and continue on that way or turn around but uh, for today we're just going to go out I think it's going to be maybe a six mile round trip but anyway let's get to it
know. If I'm speaking funny to you, it's because we were so damn cold last night that I haven't thawed out completely yet. <laughs> Anyway, um, so when you get to the wire pass trail head, uh, when you get ready to head out on the trail, don't forget to sign in to the, uh, the sign in book. And then when you get ready to hit the trail, you cross uh, House Rock Road and uh, follow the little trail and it comes out onto this wash. And this wash is considered part of the wire, wire pass trail. And then down the way here, and th by the way, this is our first time here, but from videos that I've seen on doing our research, uh, down the way here, it'll close into a, a slot canyon. Anyway, that's what we're doing right now. Wire pass is starting to narrow up into a slot canyon. By the way, this is Saturday, uh, October 29th, and there are other people here, but it seems like we're spread out enough to where it almost seems like you have the place to yourself. It's pretty cool. I think we're coming to uh, Wire Pass Slot Canyon. Don't know if it's another false alarm. We'll see. All right, here we go. So just an idea how deep it, it's gotten in here during a flash flood. I don't think that you would make it. I mean, look how far up this tree is. kind of in one of those conundrums it's like I don't want to video the entire thing but yet I don't want to shut the camera off because this is amazing anybody that's been here knows what I'm talking about this is absolutely amazing I can tell you right now just based on the wire pass alone we'll be coming back I'd come back if it was just for the wire pass that's how cool this is all right onward we go we're almost to the Buckskin Gulch wire pass intersection where we'll be hanging a right because the, the shots I've heard are way more dramatic and spectacular to the right. So, man, check this out.
Jesus Christ. Wow. What in the world? Wow. Big old blind arch. What do you think of this? <laughs> awesome. Alright, if you haven't been here, you know what I'm going to say. You got to get here. This is, we're just scratching the, the, the tip of the surface here. And, I mean, look at this. This is what we just came out of. And then when we, then when we got out and it opened up, this massive blind arch, like incredible. Here, check this out. I'll go, go up over here there. to give you kind of an idea like how high that is. I don't know if you can tell. Go over there so I can put the perspective of you being in the middle. Oh of that. yeah, good idea. Of the, so again, when we come out of the wire pass uh, trail, uh, you're going to come to an intersection. If you go left at the intersection, you're going to go to the Buckskin uh, Trail or Buckskin Gulch Trailhead, rather. Um, and then going to the right, we're going to uh, be headed the other way, um, deeper into the Buckskin Gulch. So, just to give you an idea, that's where we came from, and that is where we're going. So we just ran into some other people coming back the other direction from, from where we're going. And they were saying that up ahead, here real quick, it's ankle deep water. And then a half a mile down past that, it's gonna be waist deep water. And I'm all right with the ankle deep. I just don't know as cold as it is. If I wanna do the waist deep, I guess we'll kind of make that decision when we get there. But that's kind of unfortunate. I was hoping that some of that water was out of here by now. But anyway, we'll still get some great shots for you. <clears throat> Look at that old ladder up there. I wonder if, if it was from that ladder. You, I, yeah, I wonder if it was from the, the other ladder got washed out. And so they put a new one in, right? Maybe. So you know the ladder that we came down in the wire pass trail. Uh, I think this might be the old one that got swept away in a flash flood. But check this out. I don't know, that's got to be what, 25 feet up? Yeah. I think so. To me, seeing stuff stuck that high is terrifying. <laughs> if you think about a, a flash flood coming and you can't outrun it and it's coming and it's a wall of water that's that high, that's it, man. You're done. <laughs> but anyway, this place is absolutely killer.
it took us this long to come see this. <laughs> the problem is, is there's, there's just so many places to come to down in this area, you know, and up in the Zions area, I mean, the big five, all of the, the whole state of Utah. And Arizona. And Arizona. It's like we could do a new place every week and never run out of new places. So I can tell you right away, though, we're going to be back on this one for sure. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, let's go. Well, guys, sorry to say, this is the end of the line for us on this one. This is over waist deep uh, up ahead, and our turnaround point really wasn't that much further down the way. So we opted to go ahead and make this our turnaround point. Again, we're coming back. We'll make a longer video and show you much more. But uh, as far as today goes, I think we're going to call a wrap on today. But wow, even doing this little bit has just been stunning, amazing. And I'm so glad that we came. You glad we came? Yes, yeah. Very glad. Awesome. So with that, I think that we're done. Um, and we'll talk to you later. That's a wrap on the Buckskin Gulch via the Wire Pass Trail. What's not to like about this? It's one of the most iconic slot canyon hikes in the world. It's fantastic. It's the world's longest slot canyon. Um, we did not make that today. <laughs> uh, we probably did, I don't know what, five mile round trip. Probably. We got a, this is um, late October. It got below 30 degrees last night. The water is very cold inside the slot canyon. And we really weren't prepared to wade in chest deep water. So we, we went ahead and once we got to that point, we just cut it off. But I'll tell you what, the views that we saw up to that point were phenomenal, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, man, I, I just, when you get to that, uh, I'd say that one of my favorite parts is when you get to that uh, blind arch, you can't miss it. You'll come out of the wire pass uh, slot canyon and it's just this massive arch. Follow the, the left side of that arch and around the corner along the wall there. You're going to see some really cool petroglyphs. There's not a ton of them, but there's some good ones. Uh, bighorn sheep, some deer and, and things like that. Make sure you don't miss that because we didn't see that until somebody told us about it and we caught it on the way back. So there's your tip for me so you don't miss them. Um, Anything else to say? No, that's about it, man. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Next time out, we're going to backpack and we'll give you a longer video, but um, you'll get the gist of it on some of the shots that we give you. Anyway, that's it. Till next time, we'll see you. See ya.